Hello, my loves. It's me again. Right. Lucente have released their Cozy Knits collection and I've got some of them. So this is Fall in Love. I'm just going to swatch them for you and show you three of their new colours and three of their new foils. This is my favourite colour in the world. I'm all about yellows, mustards. This is, I think it's huge hugs like that because I don't understand the spelling on it. Oh, it's like a beautiful sage green. Oh, it's so nice. You know I've got a bit of a thing for Lucente. Um, They're incredibly pigmented. Spiced latte. Another very beautiful autumnal tone. So yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick swatchy, 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 and show you the coverage. So I've just prepped these tips. They're each having a coat of Lucente base coat and being cured in my Lucente lamp for 30 seconds. As you can see, the base coat with Lucente is thicker than a lot of base coats. I find it's really, really useful if you've got um, people who have slightly uneven nail surface, maybe through previous damage. Um, it's really, really good. So, fall in love. Now, as you know, a lot of Lucente's um, colors, you can pretty much do a one coat, but I'd never do. So like if you wanted to be stingy with your gel polish, you could do one coat coverage, but I really am a firm believer in two coats. It's just, it's nice to know the pigmentations there so you get your pigmentation payoff. Oh, I just adore these colors. Do you know what? I'm sat here wearing mustard checkered trousers. I've been wearing yellow Doc Martens. I've got mustard on my nails. I've got a mustard t-shirt. I'm just obsessed. Mustard cushions, mustard throw on my sofa. Love it. Look at that. Two coats. Bang. Done. Add some top coat. It's super glossy. I need to get some more because I've been using this top coat a lot on top of acrylic as well. I really like it. Now, Lucente as a gel is incredibly quick and easy to soak off. It tends to just kind of release itself from the nail. This is Spice Latte. So like last time I soaked it off, it just, when I took off the um, foil, it was just like lifted. I didn't have to scrape and it was lovely. It was really, really nice not to have to kind of scrape at it and work at it. It was just kind of fell off. It's fantastic. There we are, that's one coat. I'm going and do another coat anyway, because, you know. It's so beautiful. Now, uh, another fact, another random fact, Lucente is made here in the UK, which means that it's obviously uh, adheres to all of our guidelines, which are a lot stricter than some others, so... Yeah, you know what you're getting, which I really, really like. Super beautiful. I've got a bit of dust there, look. Oh, it really annoys me when I do that. There's dust everywhere, I swear I just live in dust. And no matter how much I collect, or tidy up, there's always more. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. I do scrape off any excess. I just wanted to do a big blob down the middle because I like the look of it. <laughs> so before anyone goes, and again, there's too much, it's too much of a thick layer. No, it's not. Don't worry. Calm your pants. It's stunning. There we go, into the lamp, and then second coat. Very beautiful. Sorry if you can hear the cars outside, I've got terribly bad double glazing. So it doesn't really keep out much noise. And there we are. Second coat's a dream. Look at that. Gorgeous. 
Then I'll pop on some top coat after that's cured. Lovely job. I love watching swatches. I don't know what it is. I just find it mesmerizing. Even when I've done them, I it's like I find it quite mesmerizing. I quite enjoy swatches on the big tips like these. And now what we're going to do is do the foils. But I'm going to use the colors as a background and it works really well. So I'm just going to do one coat of spice latte. Don't really need much more than that because we're going to use a full coverage foil anyway. I just feel like the the color went really well as a background. just making sure there's we're just taking off any excess as I go so cure that and then this is the foil I'm going to be using this is a new Lucente foil this is Paisley and I've also got their foil gel which is really thick and it needs 120 seconds curing this one does very thick gel really really sticky hence the long cure time but go with it trust me it's amazing now, I don't use a lot of foil, you guys know that, so I'm not like the foil queen. I'm the queen of bling. But I'm all up for trying things like this. So I thought, right, I'll experiment. So first I used my finger. You can see where I've already used it because I've got it on my hands, on my thumb and my pinky finger. Doing it on this is a bit tricky because it wobbles, the tip wobbles, because all I've got holding it on is a bit of blue tack. So it's a little bit hard to get any real kind of grip but I did my best and then try and pressed it in around the sides and when I took it off I noticed there was a little bit where I hadn't pressed it in properly so I just lined the foil back up and you'd think it was hard being a pattern but actually I think that kind of makes it easier because you know where it's got to go just line it up and I just tried to get in there again so I'm still getting to grips with foils but as a like a beginner foil user I suppose these are really really easy to use look at that it's so cool you think you could get away with telling people you did that oh yeah I drew that all myself <laughs> it's beautiful isn't it and then we just top coat that now if it was on a client I would double top coat I'd half cure the first layer then add the second layer double top coat definitely um, or you could base coat top coat I suppose and give it more shtick underneath but yeah I love that so second I'm going to apply um, oh my god I can't remember the name of the colour I'll put it in the description box I'm terrible but um, oh it's so beautiful I don't know what it is about mustards and yellows they're just like my favourite colours in the world and oranges <laughs> Gorgeous. That'll go in the lamp, just one coat. And I'm going to use tank top foil. Look at that. How cool is that? It almost reminds me of a bit of Aztec stuff. Again, I'll do a layer of the foil gel and in the lamp for 120 seconds on that. You want a good coverage, but you don't want it to be so thick that it distorts the shape of the nail. So you just want that nice, clean, even coverage. Oh, so beautiful. Into the lamp, 120 seconds. And then while that's cooking, I'm using this colour, which is the last one, which I think it's Huge Hugs. Um, one layer of that, done. See what I mean about the coverage? In with the foil gel, and then that can have 120 seconds. Lovely. I'll add my discount code for Lucente. Um, I do earn a small commission. You get a 10% discount. We don't always earn commission from Lucente, so a lot of it's incentive based, but this month they have said that um, they're doing a little thing where we can earn a little bit of commission, so that's nice as well. Um, but I've been sharing them with you for a long time. So regardless of code or not, I don't mind if you use it or not. just want to share it with you. I'm going to use this tool, see this little silicon tool thing i've had it for years don't really know what it's for so i thought i'd try it on this <laughs> it worked quite well actually 
I think it would be easier to do this on a person because their nail wouldn't wobble around as much as this one does because this is just on a bit of blue tack. But um, yeah, I feel like it worked a bit better this time round. What do you think? That work a bit better? There's a little bit missing at the bottom, but it's not the end of the world. Again, I think that's why it's nice to have a corresponding colour underneath. If you come across something like that, you could always put some crystals on top. You know what I mean? Bling it out or a bit of glitter. So the next foil I'm using is this one. It's patchwork. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, the detail in these foils is ridiculous. It's such a clever idea. I would never have thought to, to do things like that. So again, rub it in. I'm going to use this tool because I've got quite kind of got the hang of it, and I feel like it does make a bit of a difference. So yeah, just going to rub a dub dub. Try and keep the tip on the bloody tip stand, and then when I feel like I've rubbed it in enough, I'll just pull the foil off, same as before. Then I shall give it a coat of top coat. And we are done. I'll show you the colours and the foils. I'll put the link in the description box along with my discount code. You don't have to use the discount code to buy the products. You can just go ahead and buy them. Um, but if you do, thank you in advance. And that's about it from me for this video. So I shall see you guys. Oh, I'm doing Chloe's nails this weekend because she's back from university for a visit. So I'll film that for you as well. And I'll see you in my next video. Tally bye.